hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we added one jwt authentication filter in our project and we added users detail service and some jwt token related methods in jwt service in today's video we will add security configuration and related beans in our project so let's get started let's go to config package right click and click on new java class and name this java class as security configuration after creating the class we need some annotations so first annotation is configuration the second one we need to enable web security the third one we need is at the rate required args constructor after these annotations we need to inject user service and jwt authentication filter so let's do that so we will write private final jwt authentication filter again private final user service after this we need to add one bean uh, that is security filter chain so let's do that so we will start with at the rate bean annotation and this will be a public method and this will return security filter chain let's name this method as security filter chain and the params should be http security in this method first we need to disable the csrf so let's go and do that for that we need to get the http uh, request dot csrf and here let's give abstract http configurer and then write disable after this we uh, need to mention the authorized request so let's right here authorize http request and then here let's name it as a request after this let access request dot uh, request matches and here we need to give our authentication controller path that will be api slash v1 slash auth and then slash double static so now uh, we need to allow uh, the access for this path for all the apis for that we can use here uh, dot uh, permit all now our uh, authentication related apis are free and uh, our spring security will not check the uh, token uh, for those apis the next step is to add the validations for other apis for example for admin related apis or for user related apis to do that we can uh, write here dot request matches and then here we need to mention the path for uh, admin apis so we can write api slash v1 slash admin and uh, we can use dot has authority and then we need to mention the role so we can use role dot admin dot name 
So now for admin controller APIs, our Spring Boot will check the role and if the role is equal to admin, then only it will allow the access. Now we need to mention uh, the APIs related to a user. So let's go and duplicate that and mention here user and we need to change this to user as well. Then here we, uh, we need to mention any uh, request dot authenticated. After this, we uh, need to disable the uh, session management. And to do that, we can write here dot uh, session management. And let's name it as manager. And here we need to mention manager dot session policy session creation policy should be stateless after this we need to mention the authentication uh, provider so we can add the filter uh, details in it so to do that we can write authentication provider here we need to give the authentication uh, provider bean which we will create shortly and then we need to uh, call the add filter before and uh, here we need to uh, give the JWT authentication filter And on the last, we need to uh, give the user name password authentication filter dot class. And at the end, we need to uh, build our HTTP request. Now our uh, security filter chain is completed. Let's go and create this uh, bean uh, for authentication provider. So for that we need to uh, annotate this as bean and then the uh, this will be a public and uh, this will uh, return authentication provider. The name should be authentication provider as well and in the body of uh, this method let's create object for a DAO authentication provider and let's name it as auth provider let's use new uh, DAO authentication provider in this authentication uh, provider, we need to set the user details, user details service. And as you know, we already have the user details uh, service method in the user service. So we can use user service dot user details service. After this, uh, we need to set our password encoder and uh, for that we can use password encoder method that we will create shortly at the last we need to return our authentication provider this is it for authentication uh, provider method this is it for authentication provider uh, let's go and create the bean for our password encoder for that again we need to uh, use the bean annotation and this will be a public method and this will return one password encoder the name of the method should be password encoder and in the body uh, we will just return new bcrypt password encoder after this at the end we need to uh, provide the bean for authentication uh, manager and 
For that, we can uh, write uh, the return type as an authentication manager and we will give our authentication configuration in the param and we will return the config.getAuthenticationManager. So uh, this is it for security configuration. Now uh, let's go and create the endpoints which we mentioned here. So you can have the clear idea about our endpoints. For that you need to go to the controller and click on new Java class and write the name of the controller. In my case, I will write admin controller. After this, let's go and create an other controller that should be a user controller. The last controller we need is authentication controller that will hold our APIs related to authentication. And in authentication controller, uh, let's annotate this as a REST controller and at the rate request mapping. And in the request mapping, uh, the path should be slash API slash v1 slash auth. We need another annotation that is uh, required orgs constructor. Now let's copy these annotations and use them in admin controller as well. For admin controller, we will update this to admin. Let's go to user controller now. For user controller, we need to update this to user. So uh, that's it for this video. In this video, we added our uh, security configuration and in the security configurations, we disabled the CSRF. We added our auth endpoints, which we don't want to authorize. We added the request matches for admin and user roles. So only admin can access our admin URL and only user with the role of user can access our user endpoint. After this, we gave the authentication provider to the Spring security and we created the beans for authentication provider, password encoder and authentication manager.